transport bandits when we're selling our dock. Dock is getting sold. Just guess who's getting it? Joey Johnson. And guess who's driving it? Pretty Brown. Pretty Brown. <laughs> All right, we love Kentucky. You go, you guys already know that. We ride our bikes through here all the time, so I'm glad Doc's going to a Kentuckian. All right, see you guys later. Bye. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're gonna say goodbye to Doc. He was our huckleberry. He got us out of a jam, and now he's going to another good home, another transporter. Yep, we're all ready to move into our Ford. Gus, which you may have seen on one of our previous videos, completely outfitted for transporters. Sorry, the sun's in my eyes. <laughs> uh, but uh, we had this one in a pitch. He was our huckleberry. He pulled us out when we needed a truck right before orientation. Yep. So, goodbye, Doc. Goodbye, Doc. Hope you get a little good home. Okay, the first time is the He's going to another transporter, so he lives to transport once again. Welcome back, banditos and bandits. How are you doing? Well, after one crazy reset, we, we are, are back, back on, on the road. road, headed up to Goshen. Now, I'm guessing those of you that are familiar with the channel, our surroundings look a little Hi different. Mr. Bones, he's got him a brand new seat. Well, an old new seat. Yeah. Well, it's an old seat, but uh, new to him for right now because he's been in the Ram. We sold our Ram, or we sold Doc, our Ram, to a great guy, Joey, out of Kentucky, and his driver, Freddie. Yeah, they're both transporters. We drove up to Kentucky and met him, sold him, because we knew the Ford was gonna be ready soon. You know, the Ram did us good. Doc, he was good to us. He was our huckleberry. He pulled us out of a jam when this um, when this Ford, we couldn't get to orientation in time. But for me personally, my body shape and type and personality and everything about me, this Ford just fits better for me. The Ram was a great truck and is a great truck. Don't get me wrong. I've driven the Ram for years, years. I love the Ram. I love the Ram. I love the Fords. There are being coming right out of the ram and going into this Ford, there are things that I love about this Ford. Like, look at all that headroom. Look at all that hat headroom. All that hat headroom. Yeah, there's things about the Ford I love, or things about the ram I love. It's just that, you know, they're both great trucks. It's just the Ford fits me better. And um, there's a lot of perks to the Ford that we just. We just love. Yeah. We just love well, it. Well, first of all, it's newer. You know, I like the Ford a little better. I love both the trucks. I've driven Rams for years, but I found that the Ford has a little more leg room for me. And it's got room for my hat better. I just set up more. Look at all that room. All that and, room. Uh, hat room. Engine wise, room. engine wise, I'm still on the fence. That Cummins is a great engine, but so is this 6.7. I guess only time will tell. This is very smooth, very comfortable riding truck. We got a brand new set of Mitchell and Agilis cross climate tires. Yeah, riding smooth too. You know, they're producing good fuel mileage and a smooth ride. Only time and miles will tell though, whether they're good tires or not. Yeah, and we have to check I'll them out. I'll let you know in about 50 or 60,000 miles. But right now, I like So we were back to talking about the Ford and the Ram. You know, the Ram was a beautiful truck. It ran great, stayed warm. The, I love the Ram. It's just, um, there's there's pros and cons to both, both trucks. I'm probably going to do a, a, a versus video sometime soon. But for right now, I'll just give you a few highlights. Ford is newer. So, you know, things like the internet works fantastic. Uh, stereo is great. Brakes are great. Better gas mileage. Uh, way better fuel mileage than the dually got, which surprises me because I've always gotten good mileage out of those Cummings, but not this one. 
and I love these great mirrors. Once I get a little more experience with the Ford, I'll do a versus video because I've got extensive experience towing with Rams. But the Ford, it personally just fits me better because I'm a tall guy, got a lot of leg room. See all the you can see all the leg room. Never mind the Fritos. Fritos. But, uh, yeah, I got room for my Fritos. I <laughs> got room for Fritos. Okay. Uh, the navigation. A lot of headroom. Plenty of room for my hat. So my head can get a little bigger. Um really? I really don't think so. <laughs> you just wait to see, baby. Uh, Mr. Bones is enjoying his new seat. Loving it. Yeah, I like Mr. Bones' sitting position in here. So, um, if you want to see how close this hat can get to the ceiling, or if my head will still fit in here, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? What size hat is that? Do you remember? It is my size. <laughs> it is the perfect size. Jeff wears, Jeff wears the largest size hat they have in the store. Okay. The very largest size hat that they have available. That's Jeff's head size. <laughs> yeah, and then, of course, they stretch it a little bit. And they stretch it. I have to almost buy children's hats. <laughs> that's why I have to have a lot of hairs for my obnoxiously small head. So my obnoxiously large head offsets your little head. That's why we make such a great team. A great team. And also with the Ford, there's a few other things like the entertainment system, uh, GPS, uh, great internet. Just uh, a few things you naturally get with a newer vehicle that, you know, makes it better for long distance running. Let's spend a lot of time in here. Chinchilla bike's back. Oh, another thing about a full Ford is it's got a flat floorboard in the back. The floor is flat. Doesn't have that hump in the middle. Yeah, so we got a lot of great so you, storage so under the bed. So you got room to store stuff under the bed. Now, if you watched our, what was it, was it our second video? Our second video was Gus Gets Gussied Up, where we took him up to Elkhart at Dan's Service Center and had him uh, completely outfitted up for RV transport. Yeah, we did the Woodhouse bed. We did a Woodhouse sleeper berth. Uh, we did away with that. Yeah, we decided, uh, I know that sounds like such a waste, and you know, you live and you learn. It, it, I don't know if we're going to use the, the actual Woodhouse sleeper berth. Yeah, I um, may sell that if somebody's interested. Um, it's, uh, it would allow us to run these wheels 24 hours a day. Uh, and I, Jeff could drive for 11 hours and then I could drive for 11 hours. He takes his 10 hours off, I take my 10 hours off. We could keep these wheels rolling 24 hours a day with that Woodhouse sleeper bird. Turns out we don't want to keep the wheels rolling 24 hours a day. We like riding the way that we're riding. So, um, and you know, 14 hour day shift. That's, that's enough. That's long enough for us. And then we like, you know, having some chill time in the evening. So, um, we'll, we'll hey, give you more updates on the Ford. Uh, wait a minute. We're on the way up to Goshen now to get a load going to California. And we're going to have a special guest. Special um, guest star. I'm not going to let you cut out of the background now. But so you'll have to stay tuned to the next video. Or maybe the next one. I don't know. <laughs> or, or a video two months down the line <laughs> with the way things go with Either me way, making videos. <laughs> we're going to be running out west with a special guest. And, you know, we'll do some interesting things along the way, I guess. Yeah, we should get some good footage and some, uh, it's going to be real good coming up. We're really excited. So you're going to have to stay tuned to see who this special guest is that we're going to run with across the country. Yep. They'll be pulling the trailer and we'll be pulling the trailer. All right, so we'll catch you on the flip side. Transport Bandits, Cheryl out. Transport Bandit, Jeff, or Mr. Dimples, out. Mr. Dimples, see ya. Bye.